Hey there everyone, welcome back to Game Vine and my name is Dave and today in this Dexterity Week video we are taking a look at this gigantic game, Pirate in Billiards. Let's do it. So, Pirate in Billiards is a game that is pretty hard to get. I'm just going to tell you that right now. Um, I got it imported from overseas and basically it's a big board that has a piece of linen taut across the bottom and you're taking these balls and you're hitting them with a hammer on the bottom of that linen board and popping them up and trying to get them over to the other side of the board. Now there's a theme to this. You're a one of the pirates trying to overthrow the, throw the captain and there need, needs to, to be a new captain so whoever has the most skill and can use their pirate mallet the best is going to become the captain. Yeah, it's pretty pretty fail thin on that. But with that being said, let me show you all the bits in this box and then we'll show you how to play. Let's go. Okay, so this is what's in this very odd box of Pirate and Billiards. It has the board itself. Now, the bottom here is a cloth, like a, just a regular linen that you would find. Hey there, kitten. And then it has uh, the top here with a grid. I'm not sure you can tell. It's about two inches uh, high. And then you have the legs and then the pirate and hammer hammers. Now, then you have these colorful balls, and a lot of them are pretty standard and formatted well. But there are a few that have some blemishes, though I don't think that takes too much away from the gusto of the component. They look like little gumballs and they have a great weight to them, great paint. Even though their blemish is on this blue one here, I kind of like the way it looks. It's kind of cool. Okay, so now that you've seen what's in the box, it's very simple. Let me show you how to play it. Let's go. Okay, so this is the game set up for four players, but we'll just be dealing with this side here and you'll get the gist of what's going on. So the linen on the bottom is very taut, which means bouncy, bouncy. And you can kind of see, let me see if we can get close here. All right. The hammer touching, this will help you gauge where you are. And what you're going to be doing is moving your cannonballs over to the other side. And you're going to be hitting, whoop. What I was going to say is you'll be hitting the wood a lot once you start playing even as you get better and better. But the goal is to try to get all the way over to the other side of your opposing side. And then once you do that, you get points. The name of the game is to be the first person to get seven points. So once you get all the way over to the other side, you claim your ball here and then you get three points. Now when the other person's coming your way if you so happen to take your cannonball and jump into the box of an opponent opponent's color you take their ball and it counts for one point let's say there are multiple balls in a spot here then if you hop, hop into that you claim both of these and you get two points so if you have multiple balls in a square you're going to want to try to get those bad boys out of there now if you hop over here and there is another ball in this slot you don't claim it you only get the three points so you can't get four one other thing is if you are hopping and you happen to come over here into one of these opposing goals on the side here that is not your side goal well then blue would claim your ball as a point and yellow claim your ball as a point whoever goal you land into and that would is how that would happen but it, yeah it takes some getting used to and as you can see under here let's see uh, it has a, a nice kind of range on how you can hit them you can do it like wild like that or you can just tap 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 it in let me see if I can do it here it's so hard just to see where we're at tap 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 okay there we go yeah tap tap yeah so you also can hit them until you move a square if you go back into the same square you get another shot until you finally move either backwards or forward now if it does fall off the board it gets discarded and you get zero points for that but that is the name of the game you continue to do this process over 
seven points. You can go more points if you want, but they say in the rule book, just go to seven if you want to make an average game. So that's how you play Pirate and Billiards. Now let me tell you what I think about this game. Let's go. So that is Pirate and Billiards. And what do I think about this game? It gets a 93. And the points that get knocked off to seven points is because the storing of this game is hard. It's hard to find. And I think the linen might wear after uh, after some time of use but you can easily patch this up if you know what you're doing uh, and I don't but I'm sure I can learn how to do a patch if there's a rip at all um, but other than that this game is fantastic well there is a bit of a learning curve that's another point knocked over but other than that yeah this game is one of my favorite dexterity games at the moment it's such an ingenious idea and right when I seen somebody talk about this game I, and I just heard the prim premise I was off and running. I went to go find this game. I got it, got sent here, and it was everything I was hoping it to be. Yes, at times the balls just went crazy uh, in one direction behind you when you didn't want it to happen, but if you just tap, tap, tap it in, sometimes you can kind of just bounce one, one, one all the way over. What strategy is better? Going after the the opponent and getting rid of his pirates or just going straight for um, the end? going one jump or going five jumps ahead and possibly losing well it's up to you and i think any strategy is viable and that's the cool thing about this game because you can get a shot from one end to the other and it doesn't happen often but when it does it's like oh pow oh! the theme yeah is not really there it could have been anything but it's something to plaster onto the box so they can actually say the game is about something not to say this is a popping ball game it's about pirates with cannonballs it makes it a little bit more flashy but i don't think it needs it it's i'm going to be taking this to, with me whenever convention starts heaven hope it does here soon but whenever they do start this game is coming with me every time because it's such a great curb appeal and people see this they're going to instantly be drawn to it and they're going to want to take that hammer and like try to get the ball all the way across it, it they're going to get addicted to it quickly because that's what happened to me and i've been playing this game even by myself trying to do different strategies and get the touch just right uh, and practice and it's just been so much fun so if you can pick this up and I would say a reasonable, reasonable price for this is around $75. I paid a little bit more, but I wanted this game so bad, so I justified it. But if you can find it for around that price, definitely pick it up. But other than that, thank you so much for joining me in today's review. I really do appreciate it. You could have been anywhere, but you're hanging out here with me, and uh, it really just warmed my heart. And Vine Nation, if you haven't already, click like and subscribe. We really would appreciate that. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers. Uh, it's so exciting. But until the next time, that's see you. Have a great rest of your day and a great time with all that you play. My name is Dave, and I'm out. Bye. Vine Nation, we love making content here for you on the channel, and we're almost at 10,000 subscribers, so subscribe now and help us out. This video right here, I think you'll like. This video right here, YouTube thinks you'll like. Or you can just sit here and watch me dance the dinosaur for a little bit longer. You can visit us at our social media outlets, and we're going to be improving our Patreon here soon. That's all for today. Miko, it's time to go. Good girl, Miko.